Right, that procession is going to pass along Interstate 95 on its way to Dover. And in fact, it's going to pass right under where we're standing now on an overpass along Route 95, which is very close to the scene. Um, members of the Portsmouth Police Department uh, uh, were here last night and they were hanging pictures and flags and banners in honor of Staff Sergeant Jesse Sherrill. They will be in full view of the procession as it then passes the spot just feet away where we, where he lost his life. Portsmouth police were among the first on the scene just after 1230 in the morning yesterday, responding to the crash that claimed Cheryl's life. Portsmouth police and fire will be lined up on two overpasses in the area as his body is accompanied to its final destination. Lots of similar signs of support are expected all along the route. The law enforcement community making sure that Staff Sergeant Sherrill is given every honor. He had just been named assistant commander of Troop A in Epping, his career having taken him north for a time before he was able to work nearer to his roots in Barrington. Remembered as a trooper's trooper and the ultimate family man. As I stand here now, members of the Portsmouth Police Department are arriving. They want to be here in full view of this procession to show their support and honor Jesse Sherrill. So we will be here with that as well. We'll have more for you later. For now, we're live in Portsmouth. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9. All right, thanks, Jennifer. And that procession is just getting underway. For those who want to help Staff Sergeant Sherrill's family, the New Hampshire Troopers Association has partnered with the Greg Hill Foundation to help support his family family. At last check, nearly $100,000 has been raised. If you would like to contribute, you can visit the Greg Hill Foundation.org.